Let's totally look at the agree. quarterbacks. We'll start with Yahoo compared to Matthew's rankings for this one. Jaden Daniels, QB 10 on Yahoo, QB 12. Caleb Williams, another rookie quarterback, QB 13 for Matthew, QB 15 on Yahoo. Trevor Lawrence at QB 14, but going as QB 17 on Yahoo. Kirk Cousins, completely forgotten about. Top 15 quarterback for Matthew. He's QB 21 on Yahoo. And Matthew Stafford, really in the same mold as Kirk Cousins here, Jay. Just completely forgotten about as an effective fantasy starting quarterback. QB 18 for Matthew. QB 23 on Yahoo. Yeah, and that's the sound that you heard before with Matthew throwing his prams, uh, throwing his toys out the pram um, and yeah. hitting the ground. Matthew Stafford, I think the key here, again, is so linked to Cooper Cup. Like, Stafford was able to produce a lot of value down the back end of the last season. He's playing like a top five MVP candidate in the second half of the season, just with a fully healthy Cooper Cup to pair with Puka Nakua. Also, it's like a team that's in the perfect sweet spot where they play in a dome, they're expected to win around nine games, so it's not like they're just going to be running the ball in second halves all the time. I think Stafford is very slept on. Again, he's just not like a sexy name. Matthew Stafford's been in our lives for more than a decade. Uh, Matthew Stafford exciting. was a top nine fantasy quarterback over the second yeah. half of last year. Again, with the emergence of Puka uh, and the Jordan Winningham, they found him, and like Demarcus Robinson is the third wide receiver. Obviously, uh, Cup and Nakua. Yeah. I mean, so here's crazy. the ESPN. Uh, disparity here. Like Kyler Murray, the ride or die. QB5 for you, Matthew. Yes. QB10 on ESPN. Unbelievable. Way too cheap. Way J too cheap. Jaden Daniels, a two spot difference. QB10 yep. for you. QB12 on ESPN. Trevor Lawrence, this is another big one. QB14 for you. It's kind of hard to picture 18 quarterbacks ahead of Trevor Lawrence. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but ESPN did that. Has, has that. And then Jared Goff, QB16 for you. We keep saying how many indoor games he plays this year, going lower on ESPN as well. Yeah, I don't, I don't get this. Trevor Lawrence was fourth in pass attempts per game last year, sixth most, um, sixth most deep pass attempts. You mentioned it, like Calvin Ridley dropped a lot of balls that he probably shouldn't have, and I think if Calvin Ridley makes those catches, I think Trevor Lawrence's year looks a lot different. Really tough. Like, again, he, there was a guy that I felt like he just sort of gutted it out last year, but uh, gets a little bit more uh, uh, production from his legs than I think he gets credit for. 21 rushing yards per game last year. 21% of his fantasy points came from rushing. He's had at least four rushing touchdowns in back-to-back -back years now as well. So Trevor Lawrence, who fully healthy, more weapons, another year in Doug Peterson's system. You know, I think we finally, finally gotten all the Urban Meyer out of him. Uh, give me some Trevor Lawrence as a, uh, as a sleeper. Yep. Two years ago, which is the last time that Trevor Lawrence had a fully healthy season, he was one touchdown pass away from being QB6 on the season. He ended up yeah. being QB8. Like, that is the type of talent. And just the added stuff that he gives you with his legs is just so useful in fantasy. Hey, it's Matthew Berry from NBCSports.com and RotorWorld.com. And I want to thank you so much for watching whatever it is you just watched. Or if nothing else, being too lazy to click out of the autoplay after this video started, after whatever it is you actually wanted to watch finished. But now that you're here, I'd like to take a moment here to ask you respectfully, respectfully now, okay? I'm asking you respectfully to subscribe to the NFL on NBC YouTube channel. You'll get the latest Roto World fantasy news headlines, all sorts of great shows, including my own fantasy football happy hour. So go subscribe now. Again, I'm asking respectfully.